Hi hey guys, today is for February 22nd, 2021, and futures are pointing to a lower open. And there are several uh, factors in play, and uh, one of them is that uh, grounding of the uh, 777 uh, Boeing that was traveling from uh, Denver to Honolulu due to engine uh, failure, and uh, Boeing shares are lower, and that uh, actually... Uh, uh, pressuring Dow, uh, Dow in general, and it's taking off like uh, 58 uh, points off the Dow. And uh, another news is that uh, Treasury yields, and uh, Treasury, especially 10-year Treasury yields, uh, which uh, are at the highest uh, for the past year at uh, 1.37. I mean, when Treasury yields uh, rise, that means that the economy is running hot, and uh, Actually, it's uh, good and bad news, but it makes it uh, more difficult to borrow. And uh, actually, uh, the shares of the growth companies uh, usually take a hit uh, when the treasury, treasury yields uh, rise. And uh, people run to the cover to value companies and uh, sometimes to bonds. And um, so that's uh, good and bad news. But uh, in general, uh, it's going to pressure the market, the uh, rising treasury yields. So um, that's uh, major factors that are in play right now. And uh, let's uh, jump to SPY, ETF for uh, S&P 500. And uh, SPY uh, trading in a make or break territory right now. And uh, it could go either way uh, to me, but I think it's going to trend lower. Uh, for a while because we had a big run so people are taking uh, chips off the table a little bit and uh, who blames them and uh, I would suggest to do the same uh, because uh, we're running a little bit too hot and uh, there's going to be a, a couple of uh, days uh, uh, pressure on the markets uh, in my opinion okay same thing with QQQ Okay, QQQ is falling even more than S&P 500, and as I said, because of the Treasury yields, and uh, tr uh, QQQ, uh, which is the NASDAQ, is loaded with uh, growth companies, uh, like uh, tech companies, and uh, that's going to hit them the most. Uh, so, uh, I would be careful right now with uh, QQQ especially. So let's jump to uh, stocks, and before we do that, uh, if you want to see my trades on pretty much everyday basis, you can check out a link to my Patreon uh, club in the description of this video, and uh, drop me a like on this video, as it helps me with the uh, YouTube algorithm. So uh, let's uh, start with uh, Deere, John Deere, uh, and uh, I have to mention that, because it reported actually spectacular earnings on Friday, and earned, uh, listen to this guys, 387 versus 214 expected. Revenue was uh, also above forecasts and uh, in increased uh, full year uh, outlook amid uh, improvements in agricultural and construction sectors. And uh, generally, Deere is a very conservative company and uh, they give a very conservative outlook. And they, if they increase the outlooks, things are going well for them. So uh, even though they jumped uh, on Friday, I think it could be, uh, they're a little bit lower uh, actually today. I think it could, be, it could be a terrific opportunity actually to buy the stock again. And uh, this is considered to be a value company, and uh, people will run into uh, this company and uh, will hide from this uh, vol current volatility. So I think the deer is a buy, and it's going high. Okay, Roku. So uh, Roku shares also uh, jumped uh, on uh, Friday, and uh, it reported a profit of 49 cents compared to expected loss of 6 cents. Revenue also beat expectations and it experienced 39% surge in customers year over year, um, you know, this quarter uh, and uh, in the quarter of Q4. So, uh, tremendous, uh, actually, reports from uh, Roku as well. And uh, I think Roku is actually going higher as well. So, I would use this uh, sell off opportunity to buy Roku shares. And uh, right now, it's trading like $10 off uh, the uh, Friday price. And uh, I would buy the Roku here CCIV okay CCIV is training higher significantly higher like 18% uh, uh, pre-market and uh, following a report from Bloomberg suggesting that the deal between uh, Churchill Capital uh, which is a SPAC uh, which is CCIV SPAC and Lucid Motors could be announced uh, as early as Tuesday so that's tremendous news and uh, the offering was up to from uh, first from uh, 10 billion to 12 billion to 15 billion shares uh, uh, worth of uh, sh shares actually uh, in terms of money and uh, 
actually on Friday there was a report that the deal might have uh, fallen through, uh, so it didn't. Uh, so the deal might have, uh, you know, didn't work basically. But uh, and there is another Bloomberg report today that, uh, or like over the weekend, that uh, the deal could be announced on Friday. So that's uh, tremendous uh, news for uh, uh, CCIV shareholders and. Uh, I think the stock may go actually higher, even though it's uh, sitting in deep overbought territory. And uh, but uh, looks like it may actually go higher than that. So uh, I'm expecting this uh, if the deal goes through to go through uh, seventy dollars, uh, in my opinion. So if they announce the deal tomorrow, but uh, we'll see what happens. But so far looking good for CCIV. Okay, Lessel. Okay, uh, Leslie's. Uh, that's a, a play on the extreme weather uh, which has uh, been uh, ex uh, experienced in uh, Texas. And Leslie is a direct to consumer pool uh, care brand, including uh, services and uh, uh, and uh, replacing uh, parts and equipment, cleaning and maintenance. And uh, it's an interesting company, LESL. Recently, they uh, did the secondary offering, I believe, for 29 million shares and at $26. And the uh, stock uh, took a hit from, uh, after that. And uh, uh, right now i think it's a, a great time to buy it but uh, buy it with the long-term horizon uh, don't buy it with the like uh, short-term uh, view because uh, uh, once those owners start uh, fixing pools and uh, warmer weather comes uh, this uh, this company will be busy and uh, could be a good uh, could be an opportunity to have the stock uh, at that point okay tesla so Tesla shares are falling pre-market, and uh, JD Power, which is the automotive industry long-time uh, monitor of uh, uh, quality, uh, reported that consumer ranked Tesla very low in terms of uh, quality and dependability. And um, well, I mean, these reports were coming out before before that. I mean, it's sad for me to to hear that, and I hope Tesla improves the quality. Uh, but uh, in general, in terms of stock, I think uh, I know that Cathy Wood bought more stock on Friday, and uh, which is from Arc Capital, Cathy Wood, uh, and. Uh, Actually, uh, Elon Musk tweeted that uh, Bitcoin uh, and uh, cryptocurrency uh, prices are too high. And uh, as you know, that uh, maybe a year ago, uh, Elon Musk uh, tweeted the same thing about the Tesla shares uh, when it was like s the same price pretty much at 760 pre uh, uh, split. Okay, and after that, uh, Tesla shares uh, basically went up like five times uh, that value. So I wouldn't take too much uh, from Musk uh, comments, and uh, you know it's, he's just <laughs> he's very outgoing CEO and uh, very uh, well-spoken CEO. And uh, I mean, people listen to him, uh, of course, because he is very influential. But uh, in general, in terms of the stock prices and uh, prices, I don't know. If Musk is a good indicator of uh, where uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or even Tesla stock is going. So. Uh, Tesla uh, has uh, like uh, a 50-day moving average sitting around uh, around 70, 700, $750. So if it gets there, and uh, I think it could be a support uh, for Tesla, I think it could be a, a good buy it's at around uh, that price, $750. So we'll see what happens, but I think uh, this drop could be considered to be a good opportunity to get into the stock. RXT. Rexpace Technology. Okay, so Rexpace reported uh, pretty good numbers actually, uh, beat by three cents, uh, beat by revenue, but uh, uh, provided a, a lower forecast, a weaker forecast for the full year, and uh, shares took a uh, hit, hard hit actually. And uh, I actually think that's uh, it's a great company to buy uh, in the twenty dollars area, and uh, I think it's a long term buy to me, and uh, I would be buying shares on this. Uh, actually pull back so uh, probably the shares will pull back again and uh, could be a great opportunity to get into the stock because i think uh, eventually the shares will move higher okay boeing okay i already talked about boeing and uh, it was reported that uh, the engine fa failure uh, of one of the boeing 777 uh, uh, made uh, the crew to uh, land in Denver. Uh, it was a Denver to Honolulu flight. So shortly after takeoff, uh, 
they uh, experienced uh, engine failure and uh, actually uh, landed the uh, plane. But uh, thank God everything is all right. And but FAA ordered uh, United Airlines to inspect uh, a couple dozen uh, planes, seven 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 planes, uh, and. Uh, but actually, <laughs> this is not, I mean, this uh, bad news uh, seems to be, but it's not as bad as uh, I believe people think. But uh, because uh, Boeing is not making much money on these planes and uh, Boeing is going to make uh, money on a MAX. Okay, and uh, MAX is going to be back in service and uh, they will be selling MAX, and, uh, you know, in bunches pretty much. So it's not a as bad of a news i mean it's a reputation hit again uh, for boeing but not much than that so i would be actually interested to buy boeing shares at these prices and uh, actually on this uh, uh, pullback so uh, i actually think that boeing is still going higher so ba i think it's a good buy on this uh, pullback uh, here s okay s v a c u Okay, Starboard Value Acquisition uh, Company. It's another SPAC, <clears throat> and uh, it announced a deal to merge with the data center company uh, Sixtera Technologies in transaction worth uh, $3.5 billion. So shares are higher, and I think that's going to like $15. I would be interested to buy uh, shares of this company and uh, of this SPAC. So SVACU could be an interesting buy at this point. Okay, and uh, finally, Pfizer and BioNTech. Okay, so it was reported that uh, their COVID vaccine that developed by uh, Pfizer and BioNTech is 85% uh, effective only after the first shot. It was re reported in uh, one of the Israeli journals and uh, uh, medical journals. And uh, uh, as you know, that uh, they're making two shots and uh, Moderna is also two shots, but the thing is that uh, the vaccine is uh, effective only after one shot is uh, very good news but i wouldn't buy pfizer shares it's, in fact i would buy actually bntx shares which is their partner and uh, bntx is a german company and uh, it's uh, looking good to me actually uh, i think it's the shares will go higher and moderna Moderna is a little bit uh, lower on the news, but in general, I think Moderna eventually will go higher as well. So Moderna is also a good long-term uh, buy to me. Okay, that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, click the like button, and I'll see you Thursday.